Ravenna University, Bloomington, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Indiana University, Bloomington, or IU Bloomington, or IU, or simply Indiana, is a public research university in Bloomington, Indiana. It is the flagship institution of the Indiana University system and, with over 40,000 students, its largest university. Indiana University is a member of the Association of American Universities and is classified among, quote, R1 doctoral universities, very high research activity, unquote. It has numerous schools and programs, including the Jacob School of Music, the Luddy School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering, the O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs, the Kelly School of Business, the School of Public Health, the School of Nursing, the School of Optometry, the Marrer School of Law, the School of Education, the Media School, and the Hamilton Lugar School of Global and International Studies. As of fall 2017, 43,710 students attend Indiana University. While 51.1% of the student body was from Indiana, students from all 50 states, Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, and 165 countries were also enrolled. As of 2018, the average ACT score is a 28 and an SAT score of 1,276. The university is home to an extensive student life program with more than 750 student organizations on campus and with a, around 17% of undergraduates joining the Greek system. Indiana athletic teams compete in Division I of the NCAA and are known as the Indiana Hoosiers. The university is a member of the Big Ten Conference. Since it does not have a mascot, all teams are simply known as Hoosiers. Indiana's faculty, staff, and alumni include nine Nobel laureates, 17 Rhodes Scholars, 17 Marshall Scholars, and five MacArthur Fellows. In addition, students and alumni have won six Academy Awards, 49 Grammy Awards, 32 Emmy Awards, 20 Pulitzer Prizes, four Tony Awards, and 104 Olympic medals, 55 gold, 17 silver, and 32 bronze. Notable Indiana alumni include James Watson, one of the co-discoverers of the structure of DNA, Jimmy Wales, the co-founder of Wikipedia, Robert Gates, the 22nd United States Secretary of Defense, CEO of Disney, Bob Chapek, award-winning author Suzanne Collins, who wrote the Hunger Games series, composer and songwriter Hoge Karshamel, John Chambers, former CEO of Cisco Systems, and billionaire investor Mark Cuban. Table of Contents Section 1. History Section 1.1. Early Years Section 1.2. 20th Century Section 2. Campus Section 2.1. Faculties and Architecture Section 2.2. Indiana Memorial Union Section 2.3. Athletic Facilities Section 2.4. IU Auditorium Section 2.5, Department of Chemistry. Section 3, Libraries. Section 3.1, Herman B. Wells Library. Section 3.2, Branch Libraries. Section 3.3, Black Film Center slash Archive. Section 3.4, Indiana University Libraries Moving Image Archive. Section 3.5, Lilly Library. Section 3.6, Fine Arts Library. Section 3.7, William and Gail Cook Music Library. Section 3.8, Residential Programs and Services Libraries. Section 4, Museums. Section 4.1, Sydney and Lewis Eskenazi Museum of Art. Section 4.2, Mathers Museum of World Cultures. Section 4.3, Grunwald Gallery of Art. Section 4.4, Indiana Memorial Union. Section 5, Academics. Section 5.1. Rankings and Reputation. Section 5.2. Schools and Colleges. Section 5.2.1. College of Arts and Sciences. Section 5.2.1.1. School of Art and Architecture plus Design. Section 5.2.1.2. School of Global and International Studies. Section 5.2.1.3. The Media School. 
Section 2.2, Hudson Honors College. Section 2.3, Jacob School of Music. Section 5.2.4, Kelly School of Business. Section 5.2.5, Mueller School of Law. Section 5.2.6, School of Education. Section 5.2.7, Luddy School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering. Section 5.2.8, O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs. Section 5.2.9, School of Public Health, Bloomington. Section 5.2.10, School of Social Work. Section 5.2.11, School of Medicine. Section 5.2.12, School of Nursing. Section 5.2.13, School of Optometry. Section 5.2.14, University Graduate School. Section 6, Athletics. Section 7, Media. Section 8, Faculty. Section 8.1, Enrollment Statistics. Section 9, Notable Faculty and Alumni. Section 10, Sustainability. Section 11, Transportation. Section 12, References. Section 13, Further Reading. Section 13.1, Primary Resources. Section 14, External Links. The motto of Indiana University is Lux et Veritas, the English meaning light and truth. It is a public school. It was established on January 20, 1820, or 200 years ago. It has academic affiliations with Indiana University System, AAU, BTAA, APLU, ORAU, URA. Its endowment is $2.49 billion as of 2019. Its president is Michael McRobbie. Its provost is Lauren Robel. Its academic staff numbers 2,149. Its students number 43,710. Undergraduate students being 33,429 of those, and postgraduates being 10,281. It's located in Bloomington, Indiana, United States, or 39.167222 North, 86.521389 West. Campus type is a small city, 1,937 acres, or 7.84 kilometers squared, as of 2011. Its colors are cream and crimson. Its nickname for students are Hoosiers. Its sporting affiliation is the NCAA Division I Big Ten. Its website is www.indiana.edu. Section 1. History. Section 1.1. The Early Years. Indiana State Government in Corydon established Indiana University on January 20th, 1820, as the, quote, State Seminary, unquote. Construction began in 1822 at what is now called Seminary Square Park, near the intersection of 2nd Street and College Avenue. Classes began April 4th, 1825. The first professor was Baynard Rush Hall, a Presbyterian minister who taught all of the classics in, in 1825 to 1827. In the first year, he taught 12 students and was paid $250. Hall was a classicist who focused on Greek and Latin and believed that the study of classical philosophy and languages formed the basis of the best education. The first class graduated in 1830. From 1820 to 1889, a legal political battle was fought between IU and Vincennes University as to which was the legitimate state university. In 1829, Andrew Wiley became the first president, serving until his death in 1851. The school's name was changed to Indiana College in 1829 and to Indiana University in 1839. Wiley and David Maxwell, president of the Board of Trustees, were devout Presbyterians. They spoke of the non-sectarian status of the school, but generally hired fellow Presbyterians. Presidents and professors were expected to set a moral example for their charges. After six ministers in a row, the first non-clergyman to become president was the young biology professor David Starr Jordan in 1885. Jordan followed Baptist theologian Lemuel Moss, who resigned after a scandal broke regarding his involvement with a female professor. Jordan, president from 1884 to 1891, improved the university's finances and public image, doubled its enrollment, and instituted an elective system among the lines of his alma mater, Cornell University. 
Jordan became president of Stanford University in June 1891. The growth of the institution was slow. In 1851, IU had nearly 100 students and 7 professors. IU admitted its first woman student, Sarah Parkey Morrison, in 1867, making IU the fourth public university to admit women on an equal basis with men. Morrison went on to become the first female professor at IU in 1873. Mathematician Joseph Swain was IU's first Hoosier-born president, 1893 to 1902. He established Kirkwood Hall in 1894, a gymnasium for men in 1896, which later was named Assembly Hall, and a Kirkwood Observatory in 1900. He became construction for Science Hall in 1901. During his presidency, enrollment increased from 524 to 1,285. In 1883, IU awarded its first PhD and played its first intercollegiate sport, baseball, pre-configuring the school's future status as a major research institution and as a power in collegiate athletics. But another incident that year was of more immediate concern. The original campus in Seminary Square burned to the ground. The college was rebuilt from 1884 and 1908 at the far eastern edge of Bloomington. Today, the city has expanded eastward, and the new campus is once again in the midst of the city. One challenge was that Bloomington's limited water supply was inadequate for its population of 12,000 and could not handle university expansion. The university commissioned a study that led to building a reservoir for its use. Section 1.2, 20th Century In 1902, IU enrolled 1,203 undergraduates, all but 65 were Hoosiers. There were 82 graduate students, including 10 from out of state. The curriculum emphasized the classics, as befitted a gentleman, and stood in contrast in the service-oriented curriculum at Purdue, which presented itself as a direct benefit to farmers, industrialists, and businessmen. The first extension office of IU was opened in Indianapolis in 1916. In 1920-21, the School of Music and the School of Commerce and Finance, what later became the Kelly School of Business, were opened. In the 1940s, Indiana University opened the extension campus in Kokomo and Fort Wayne. The controversial Kinsey Institute for Sexual Research was established in 1945. During the Great Depression, Indiana University fared much better than most state schools thanks to the entrepreneurship of its young president, Herman Wells. He collaborated with Frederick L. Hobday, the president of IU's cross-state rival, Purdue. Together, they approached the Indiana Delegation of Congress, indicating their highest priorities. For Wells, it was to build a world-class music school, replacing dilapidated facilities. As a result of these efforts, the Works Progress Administration, WPA, built one of the finest facilities in the country. He added matching funds from the state legislature and opened a full-scale fundraising campaign among the alumni and the business community. In 1942, Wells reported that, quote, the past five years have been the greatest single period of expansion in the physical plant of the university in its entire history. In this period, 15 new buildings have been constructed, unquote. In 1960, the IU student body elected Thomas Atkins, an African-American from Elkhart, Indiana, to the position of president of the student body. A throng of white students protested the result by parading around campus waving Confederate flags and allegedly blamed Atkins' victory on a, quote, bunch of beatniks, unquote. When the protesters approached the female dormitory on campus, they were met with a, quote, a large barrage of cosmetic bottles, old shoes, and other objects, unquote. Section 2. Campus. The Indiana University campus of 1,933 acres, or 7.82 kilometers squared, includes an abundant green space and historic buildings dating to the university's reconstruction in the late 19th century. In 2011, Travel Plus Leisure listed the university as one of the most beautiful college campuses in the United States. The campus rests on a bed of Indiana limestone, specifically Salem limestone and Harrisburg limestone, with outcroppings of St. Louis limestone. The, quote, Jordan River, unquote, is a stream flowing through the center of campus. A section of Bloomington's Clear Creek is named for David Starr Jordan, Darwinist, archaeologist, ichthyologist, and president of IU, later of Stanford University. Bloomington was ranked fifth best city for educated millennials by Business Insider. College Ranker listed Bloomington as the number six best college town to live in forever. 
Lumosity and VentureBeat both rank Bloomington as the seventh smartest city in America. Bloomington has been ranked the fourth, quote, gayest per capita city in America, unquote, by Advocate. Section 2.1. Facilities and Architecture. Many of the campus's buildings, especially the old central buildings, are made from Indiana limestone quarried locally. The Workers' Progress Administration built much of the campus's core during the Great Depression. Many of the campus's buildings were built and most of its land was acquired during the 1950s and 60s, when first soldiers attending under the GI Bill and then the baby boom swelled the university's enrollment from 5,403 in 1940 to 30,368 in 1970. Some buildings on campus underwent similar expansion. As additions were constructed by building on outside of existing buildings, exterior surfaces were incorporated into their new interiors, making this expansion visible in the affected building's architecture. The chemistry and biology buildings serve as examples where the two interior walls of the latter's library were clearly constructed as limestone exteriors. The Bryan House is a traditional on-campus home of the university president. Nine of the oldest buildings are included in a national historic district known as the Old Crescent. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1980. They are the Collegiate Gothic Style Student Service Building, 1906-1908, Indiana University Museum, 1905, Richardsonian Romanesque Style Marksville Building, 1890-1907-1908, Owen Hall, 1885, Wiley Hall, 1885, Kirkwood Hall, 1895, Lindley Hall, 1903, Gothic Revival Style Rosewell House, 1908, and the Kirkwood Observatory, 1900. The sample gates serve as the entryway to Indiana University's campus and the Old Crescent. It is positioned between Franklin Hall and Bryan Hall. After several failed attempts to create an arched entrance to campus, in 1987, Edson Sample provided funding to build the archway based on the 1961 design proposed by Edgars and Higgins. The Indiana University Cinema opened in January 2011 in the former University Theater Building, which was built in the 1930s. The Bloomington campus also has a biology research greenhouse in Jordan Hall that is open to the public, one of the highlights of which is a corpse flower named Wally. Also on campus, the Kirkwood Observatory is open to the public one day a week. The 1979 movie, Breaking Away, was filmed on location in Bloomington and the IU campus. It also featured a reenactment of the annual little 500 bicycle race. The IU campus also has trails that many utilize for biking and running. The trails in Bloomington and nearby areas total nearly 1,200 miles or 1,900 kilometers. Section 2.2 Indiana Memorial Union The over 500,000 square foot or 46,000 square meter Indiana Memorial Building or IMU is the second largest student union in the world. In addition to stores and restaurants, it features an eight-story student activities tower home to the Indiana University Student Association, Indiana Memorial Union Board, and a variety of other student organizations. A 186-room hotel, a 400-seat theater, a 5,000 square foot, 460 meter squared alumni hall, 50,000 square feet or 4,600 square meters of meeting space and a bowling alley. The IMU houses an astounding collection of Indiana art, including artists from Brown County, the Hoosier Group, Richmond Group, and others. This collection is the largest public collection of art outside of a museum. Section 2.3. Athletic Facilities. Indiana's university's athletic facilities are located on campus and are grouped up in between East 17th Street, Dunn Street, and the IN-45 slash IN-46 bypass. In the 17,000 seat Assembly Hall, home to the IU NCAA basketball team, there are five NCAA Men's Division I basketball championship banners on display. Cook Hall, Memorial Stadium, Mellencamp Pavilion, the Gladstone Fieldhouse, the IU Tennis Center, the Billy Hayes Track, and the Bill Armstrong Stadium are also all located within the complex. Section 2.4 IU Auditorium Indiana University Auditorium, or IU Auditorium, is a 3,200-seat performing arts venue located at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. It is situated in IU's Fine Arts Plaza alongside the Lilly Library in the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design. Construction on IU Auditorium began in 1939 as a part of the Federal Works Agency projects. IU Auditorium officially opened its doors on March 22, 
1941. IU Auditorium's Hall of Murals is home of the Indiana Murals, created by American artist Thomas Hart Benton. 16 of the 22 total panels are housed at the auditorium. Today, IU Auditorium presents Broadway touring acts, popular musical artists, comedians, classical musicians, and more. Section 2.5. The Department of Chemistry. The Department of Chemistry has a great history at Indiana University since its very early days at the institution. Chemistry courses were first added to the curriculum in 1829 by Andrew Wiley, IU president at the time, 1829 to 1851. The first degrees in chemistry were awarded in 1890. The graduate school at Indiana University was not formally established until 1904. Not soon after, a plan for graduate work in chemistry was underway. However, the first PhD in chemistry was not granted until 1921. A crucial event in the history of the chemistry department was in 1931, when the construction of a new facility explicitly for chemistry began, which led to major growth within the department. Some of the department's most acclaimed and prolific faculty came to the university during this time. A major staple to the department is the famous sweetheart tree that has stood outside the chemistry building since it was built in 1931. Even when a major addition to the building was made in the 1890s, architects decided to preserve the beloved tree and build around it. A sad day came in the spring of 2018 when the university announced the famous sweetheart tree was dying and removal was scheduled to begin on April 11th. IU intends to plant a new tree in its place once the soil has recovered. Section 3. Libraries. The Indiana University Bloomington Library System supports over 20 libraries and provides access to more than 9.9 .9 million books, 800 databases, 60,000 electronic journal titles, and 815,000 ebooks. The system is the 14th largest library in North America by volumes held. Section 3.1 Herman B. Wells Library. I use Herman B. Wells Library holds more than 4.6 million volumes. Before a ceremony in June 2005, when it was renamed for IU's former president and chancellor, this building was simply called the Main Library. The architectural firm Eggers and Higgins designed the largely windowless limestone paneled library, whose construction began in 1966 and was completed in 1969. The building contains 11 floors in the East Tower, the research collection, and five floors in the West Tower, the undergraduate core collection. In 2014, the first floors of both towers were re renovated and reintroduced as the Learning Commons and Scholars Commons. The library is also home to Indiana University Press and the University Graduate School. It is the former home of the Information and Library Science Department, which is now hosted by Luddy Hall. An oft-repeated urban legend holds that the library is sinking because when it was built, engineers failed to take into account the weight of all the books that would occupy the building. An article in the Indiana Daily Student newspaper debunks this myth, stating, among other things, that the building rests on a 94-foot thick limestone bedrock. Section 3.2 Branch Libraries In addition to IU's main library, the Bloomington Library support more than 20 additional libraries. Archives of African American Music and Culture, Archives of Traditional Music, Black Film Center slash Archive, Business slash SPIA Information Commons, Library for the Kelly School of Business and the O'Neill School of Public Health and Environmental Affairs, the Science Library, the Education Library, located within the Wendell E. Wright School of Education, the LGBTQ Plus Library, Indiana Institute on Disability and Community, Center for Disability Information and Referral Library, Indiana Prevention Research Center Library, Indiana University Library's Moving Image Archive, the Kinsey Institute Library, the Jerome Hall Library, Library for Mueller School of Law, Life Sciences Library, Library for the Biology Department, Medical Sciences Program, and Nursing Program, Lilly Library, Rare Books and Manuscripts, the Neil Marshall Black Cultural Center Library, the Optometry Library, the Ostrom Workshop Library, the Residential Programs and Services Libraries, the Sino Research Institute for Inner Asian Studies, University Archives and Records Management, William and Gail Cook Music Library, Wiley House Museum. Section 3.3 .3, Black Film Center slash Archive The Black Film Center slash Archive, the BFC slash A, located at Indiana University, was, quote, established in 1981 as a repository of films and related materials by and about African Americans, unquote. Professor 
Phyllis R. Klotman founded the repository when it became apparent that rare and valuable films created by and about African Americans were being lost due to lack of preservation and inadequate resources. The BFC A has an extensive collection that includes films on various physical media, posters of numerous sizes for films distributed throughout the world, photographs and film stills, and manuscripts of filmmakers and scholars. Although the materials are not available for circulation or distribution, the archive has room for viewing films and utilizing materials. Section 3.4 Section 3.4 Indiana University's Library's Moving Image Archive the Indiana University Library's Moving Image Archive, or IULMIA, is one of the largest repositories for educational film and video in the United States. Founded in 2009, the IULMIA contains over 100,000 items spanning over 80 years of the audiovisual history. Highlights of its holdings include a collection of over 200 film cameras and projectors, more than 80,000 commercials from Clio Awards, and approximately 50,000 educational films that Indiana University circulated to classrooms nationwide during the 20th century. In 2012, the Moving Image Archive was accepted as a member of the International Federation of Film Archives. Section 3.5 Lilly Library the Lilly Library is one of the largest rare book and manuscript libraries in the United States. Founded in 1960 with the collection of Josiah K. Lilly Jr. of Eli Lilly and Company in Indianapolis, the library now contains approximately 400,000 rare books, 6.5 million manuscripts, and 100,000 pieces of sheet music. The library's holdings are particularly strong in British and American history and literature, religious texts, Latin Americana, medicine and science, food and drink, children's literature, fine printing and binding, popular music, medieval and renaissance manuscripts, and early printing. Notable items in the library's collections includes the New Testament of the Gutenberg Bible, a first edition copy of the Book of Mormon, the first printed collection of Shakespeare's works, a pair of the Spock ears worn by Leonard Nimoy in Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, Auburn's Birds of America, one of the 25 extant copies of the first printing of the Declaration of Independence, also known as the Dunlop Broadside, that was printed in Philadelphia on July 4, 1776, George Washington's letter accepting the presidency of the United States, Abraham Lincoln's desk from his law office, a leaf from the famous Abraham Lincoln's, quote, some book, unquote, circa 1824-1826, Lord Chesterfield's letters to his son, the manuscripts of Robert Burns, quote, Odd Long Sydney, unquote, the Boxer Codex, annotated production scripts for Star Trek, J.M. Synergy's The Playboy Wonders of the Eastern World, and J.M. Barnes' Peter Pan, and typescripts of many of Ian Fleming's James Bond novels. The library also owns the papers of Hollywood directors Orson Welles and John Ford, the poets of Sylvia Plath and Erza Pound, and authors Edith Warren, Max Eastman, and Upton Sinclair. The library is also home to four Academy Awards donated by alumni. In 2006, the library received a collection of 30,000 mechanical puzzles from Jerry Slocum. The collection will be on permanent display. Special permission is not required to use the collections, and the library has several exhibition galleries that are open to the public. Within the Lilly Library is the Ruth E. Adamant Collection of Miniature Books, one of the world's largest. Among the collection are rare miniature books such as From Morn Till Eve, a miniature book that presents biblical quotations in devotional form with one phrase for each morning and one evening of a month. The Online Computer Library Center, OCLC, has listed that, quote, the only known copy as being in the collection of a framed miniature book collector, Ruth E. Adamant, unquote, which is now in the Lilly Library. Section 3.6. Fine Arts Library. IU's first Fine Arts Library was established in the late 1930s as part of the departmental office on the second floor, east wing, of the University Library, which was then in Franklin Hall. In 1941, two important events occurred. Art historian Henry Radford Hope became chairman of the Fine Arts Department in the fall, and the Fine Arts Center was created by remodeling Mitchell Hall Annex. The Fine Arts Library moved into the IU Art Museum, designed by E.M. Pei, in August 1981. This location was closed for renovations to the museum in spring 2017. All fine arts materials are currently located on the ninth floor of the Herman B. Wells Library. Section 3.7 William and Gail Cook Music Library 
The William and Gale Cook Music Library, recognized as one of the largest academic music libraries in the world, serves the Jacob School of Music and the Bloomington campus of Indiana University. It occupies a four-floor, 55,000-square-foot facility in a wing of the best motionless Simon Music Library and Recital Center, dedicated in November 1995. The collection comprises over 700,000 cataloged items on 56,733 linear feet of shelves. The Cook Music Library holds many special collections, including audio and print collections. One notable collection contains items from Leonard Bernstein's compositional studio, including items such as clothing, furniture, recording, books, and awards. Section 3.8 Residential Programs and Service Libraries Residence Hall Library programs began in the 1930s at Harvard University. By 1978, there were 21 institutions with residential library systems. Today, Indiana University has only one of two residential library programs that still operates. Additionally, Indiana University has continued to expand its residential library system, adding the most recent branch in 2017. There are currently 14 library branches, Briscoe, Campus View Apartments, Collins LLC, Eigenman, Forrest, Foster, McNutt, Reed, Spruce, Teeter, Union Street Center, Wells Quad, Wilkie, and Wright. The libraries are open daily while classes are in session. Previously, half the branches were considered movies, media, and more centers, and only offered DVDs and CDs. In 2018, the decision was made to have all library branches offer books in addition to movies and games. The libraries hire graduate students in Indiana University's Master of Library Science program to act as center supervisors, who lead a staff of seven student assistants in staffing the libraries each evening. New material is added to the libraries each week, and any student or staff member of Indiana University can check out material using their Crimson card. Section 4. Museums. Section 4.1. Sidney and Lewis Eskenazi Museum of Art. The Sidney and Lewis Eskenazi Museum of Art, formerly known as the Indiana University Art Museum, was established in 1941 and has occupied a building designated by the world-renowned architecture firm I.M. Pei and Partners since 1982. The museum houses a collection of over 40,000 objects and includes works by Claude Monet, Marcel Duchamp, Pablo Picasso, Henry Mesty, and Jackson Pollock. The museum has particular strength in the art of Africa, Oceania, the Americas, ancient Greece and Rome, and European modernism. It also holds a substantial collection of works on paper, prints, drawings, and photographs. The museum routinely has been ranked among the best university art museums in the United States. Section 4.2 Mathers Museum of World Cultures The Matthews Museum of Collections consist of over 30,000 objects and 10,000 photographs representing cultures from each of the world's inhabited continents. Representing cultures from each of the world's inhabited continents. These materials have been collected and curated to serve the museum's primary mission as a teaching museum within a university setting. The ethnology collection's strengths include traditional musical instruments, photographs of Native Americans and the Bloomington community, Inupiaq and Inupiaq Eskimo materials, and Pawnee material culture, and among others. Section 4.3 Grunwald Gallery of Art The Grunwald Gallery of Art is a contemporary art museum hosted by the university. The gallery was first established in 1983 as a part of the School of Fine Arts Gallery, Sofa Gallery, in what was formerly University Arts Museum space when the museum relocated to a new building. The museum exhibits experimental works by emerging and established artists as well as of works by faculty and students within the Department of Studio Art. It is located on 1201 East 7th Street. It was named in honor of Indiana University alumnus John A. Grunwald in 2011. He was born in Hungary in 1935, survived the Holocaust, emigrated to the United States in 1950, and graduated with a degree in economics in 1956 from Indiana University, where he met his wife, Rita. In 2017, the Art Museum hosted an exhibition on the history of tattoo artistry in Indiana. Section 4.4 .4, Indiana Memorial Union The Indiana Memorial Union, in addition to hosting many events, holds the largest public collection of art outside of a museum. The work within the building ranges from priceless sculptures to beautiful paintings. Section 5. Academics. Section 5.1. Ranks and Reputation. Indiana University is one of the 62 members of the Association of American Universities, an organization of leading North American research universities. 
is being called a public Ivy university. Forty graduate programs and four schools at Indiana University are ranked among the top 25th in the country in the U.S. News & World Report 2016 rankings. Indiana University Bloomington's chemistry program is ranked 24th in the United States, 5th in analytical chemistry. IU ranks 34th in the nation in both biological sciences and math. The school is also ranked 20th in programming languages and 5th in nuclear physics. IU's Graduate Department of Sociology is ranked 15th in the nation, 10th in social stratification, and 2nd in social psychology, 1st among public universities. As of 2016, IU Bloomington's Masters in Public Affairs program is ranked number 1 in the nation by U.S. News. IU is also ranked number 1 in environmental policy and management, nonprofit management, and public finance and budgeting. The Kelly School of Business at IU, known for being a top-tier business school, was ranked in 2016 as the number one public undergraduate business program by Bloomberg Businessweek. A 2017 report by Chris Calder Associates listed Indiana University as the fifth public university in producing CEOs from Fortune 500 and SB 500 large companies and the first public university in producing CFOs. Academic Ranking of World Universities ranked IU Bloomington 101 to 150 in the world and 49 to 60 nationally in the United States in 2017. Additionally, it ranked Indiana University Bloomington 16th in the world for business administration, 7th in the world for communication, 5th in the world for public administration, and 2nd in the world for library and information science. U.S. News ranks IU 36 out of the top public universities in the United States, Forbes ranks IU 20th out of the public universities. Section 5.2 Schools and Colleges The School of the Provost oversees the academic programs, research, and policies of 16 schools in Indiana University Bloomington campus. Together, these units offer more than 550 individual degree programs and majors. Section 5.2.1 the College of Arts and Sciences The College of Arts and Sciences is the largest of the Indiana University's academic divisions and is home to more than 40% of its undergraduates. Also, the college offers many electives and general education courses for students enrolled in most other schools and campus. There are more than 50 academic departments in the college, encompassing a broad range of disciplines from traditional, such as anthropology, art history, biology, biochemistry, chemistry, classics, English, economics, geography, history, mathematics, philosophy, physics, political science, psychology, religious studies, and sociology, to more modern and specialized areas, including Jewish studies, history and philosophy of science and medicine, and international studies. Through the college, IU offers instruction in over 50 foreign languages, one of the largest language study offerings at any American university. IU is the only university in the nation that offers a degree in Hungarian, although it was done through an individualized major program, and is the first university in the United States to offer a doctorate in gender studies. The Department of Geology has highly recognized programs in Client and Environmental Change, GIS, Human Environment Interaction, and Human Geography. Indiana University is also home to the nation's only degree-granting Department of Central Eurasian Studies. The university's catalog at one time boasted that a student could study any language from Akan to Zulu. The college is the parent division for 15 individual research institutes and holds the distinction of being the only academic division within the university to house autonomous schools, such as the School of Art and Design, the School of Global International Studies, and the Media School within it. Several first- and second-year students from the Indiana University School of Medicine, which is based at IUPUI, complete their pre-clinical education at the Bloomington campus's medical science program, which is housed within the Department of Biology and the Indiana Molecular Biology Institute. The college is also home to the Department of Folklore and Ethnomuseology, the first formally established academic department in folklore at any United States university, and the only such department to integrate those two practices into one field. IU also features a world-class cyclotron operated by the Department of Physics. The college also has its IU's Department of Theater, Drama, and Contemporary Dance, which offers a Bachelor's of Art in Theater, a BFA in Contemporary Dance, a Master of Fine Arts in Acting, Directing, Playwriting, or Design and Technology, and a BFA in Musical Theater. In 2009, Professor of Political Science 
Eleanor Ostrom, became the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in Economic Studies since its inception in 1969. Section 5.2.1.1 School of Art, Architecture, and Design The School of Art, Architecture, and Design houses 14 different areas in art, architecture, design, and merchandising. Section 5.2.1.2 School of Global and International Studies the SGIS is an international affairs school composed of over 500 students from four academic departments and 21 institutes and centers. It also runs the Indiana University Summer Language Workshop. Section 5.2.1.3 The Media School The Media School was established on July 1, 2014. Its faculty teaches in these areas. Communication Science Cinema and Media Studies, Journalism, housed in a building named for famed war correspondent and alumni Ernie Pyle, the School of Journalism, was established in 1911. In July 2014, the School of Journalism merged with the newly founded Media School at IU. The Media School offers a BA in Journalism and a Master's of Science degree for those preparing for careers as reporters, editors, broadcasters, public relations professionals, multimedia specialists, and educators. It draws students from far away as China and Ukraine and as close as Bloomington or other Indiana towns. Among the alumni are more than 30 Pulitzer Prize winners. Alumni work in every field of journalism, from the oldest form of print publishing to the newest form as online journalists. Many remain active in supporting the school by mentoring students, facilitating internship programs, and donating time and financial gifts to the school. Media Arts and Production The Media School is home to the Michael I. Arnold Center for Investigative Journalism. Section 5.2.2 Hunton Honors College Admission to the Hunter's Honors College requires students to have the following minimum requirements, a high school GPA of 3.9 and a score of 32 or higher on the ACT, 1390 or higher on the old SAT, or a 1440 or higher on the new SAT, or a high school GPA of 3.85 and a score of 34 or higher on the ACT, a 1470 or higher on the old SAT, or a 15 or 10 or higher on the new SAT. Section 5.2.3 Jacobs School of Music Founded at the beginning of the 20th century by Charles Campbell, the Jacobs School of Music focuses on voice, opera, orchestral conducting, and jazz studies. It has been ranked number one in the country, tied with Juilliard and Eastman School of Music by U.S. News & World Report. U.S. News has not since published a music school ranking. Jacobs still ranks highly among other publications. The Hollywood Reporter ranked the Jacobs School of Music as number four in the world. Music School Central currently ranks Jacobs number one in the nation. With more than 1,600 students, the school is one of the largest of its kind in U.S. and among the largest in the world. The school's facilities, including five buildings in the heart of campus, comprise recital halls, more than 170 practice rooms, choral and instrumental rehearsal rooms, and more than 100 offices and studios. Its faculty have included such notable names such as David Efron, Arthur Fagan, Jano Starker, Conces Carraro, Timothy Noble, Andre Watts, Menham Pressler, Linda Strawman, Abby Simon, Georges Bollet, Ray Kramer, David Baker, William Bell, Harvey Phillips, Earl Bates, Carl Vaness, Sylvia McNair, Howard Klung, violinist Joshua Bell, conductor Leonard Slatskin, and composer Seven David Sandstrom. Notable alumni include Edgar Mayer and soprano Angela Brown. Many alumni have gone to on to win the Grammys and other music awards. Section 5.2.4 Kelly School of Business The Kelly School of Business, known colloquially as Kelly, or the B School, was founded in 1920 as the University School of Finance and Commerce. Approximately 6,100 students are enrolled in undergraduate, graduate, accountancy, and information systems degrees, MBA and PhD programs, and its online degree program, Kelly Direct. For incoming freshmen to, to be considered direct admission into Kelly, they must meet the following requirements. Indicated one of Kelly's business majors as your intended major and earned the required test score of an ACT of 30 or SAT of 1380 and earned a cumulative weighted GPA of 3.8 on a four-point scale in high school. Even if requirements are not yet, you may petition to gain direct admission and, otherwise, you can gain entry after freshman year by having a 
3.5 cumulative IU GPA and required business and other courses by the end of the semester in which you apply. In its 2017 rankings, the U.S. News & World Report ranked the undergraduate program tied for 9th in the nation and the MBA program tied for 21st in the U.S., with the online MBA program ranking 3rd. In 2007, the Wall Street Journal ranked Kelly's MBA program 5th among regional programs. Kelly's program in consumer products and energy and industrial products and services were 2nd, marketing was 3rd, and accounting 8th among regional programs. Business Week ranked the undergraduate program 8th in 2014, third among public schools, and the graduate program 15th in the nation in 2008, and fourth among public schools. Also, Business Week gave the undergraduate program an A in teaching and an A-plus in career services. In 2016, Business Week ranked the undergraduate program 4th in the nation, number one among public universities. The 2016 ranking for Best Undergraduate Business Schools by Poets and Quaints ranked the Kelly School of Business 7th in the nation and 2nd among public schools. Poets and Quaints also ranked Kelly's MBA program 5th in the nation in producing 6 Fortune 500 CEOs. In 2017, The Economist ranked the MBA program 17th in the nation and 22nd in the world. It's ranked 7th in terms of percentage increase from pre-MBA salary. Kelly Partners Kelly partners with the Scott's Miracle Grow Company to offer Bloomington Brands a unique work-study program for undergraduates and MBA students. Participating students obtain real-world brand management experience by managing the Osmote plant food brand on a contract to Scott's. Kelly also partners with Coca-Cola for a program called Global Business Institute that is available in the Middle East, North Africa, and Asia. This is a program that was designed to let select groups of students in participating countries learn about business from the context of American culture. Many classes partner with corporations and have students work on projects affecting the company. Most notably, in freshman year, students hold an in-class case competition for the required business presentation class with a case provided by Macy's. The final four teams present in front of Macy's executives, and the winning team is flown to Macy's offices in New York City. In 2016 fiscal year alone, the top 20 distinguished corporate sponsors of Kelly gave over $1.2 million in support. Section 5.2.6 The Muir School of Law The Muir School of Law, founded in 1842, is one of the oldest schools on the Bloomington campus. It features a law library recently ranked first in the nation and is situated on the southwest corner of campus. In 2000, then Chief Justice William Rehnquist presided over a mock trial of King Henry VIII in the school's moot courtroom. In the 2016 U.S. News and World Report rankings, the school was tied for 25th in the nation among law schools. Notable alumni from the School of Law include songwriter Hoagie Karachel and Vice Chairman of the 9-11 Commission and former Congressman Lee H. Hamilton. On December 4, 2008, the School of Law was renamed the Michael Marr School of Law. Section 5.2.7 School of Education The School of Education, formerly a part of the College of Arts and Sciences, has been independent since 1923. One of the largest schools of education in the United States, it was ranked 25th in the nation by U.S. News & World Report in its 2016 rankings. It offers a range of degrees in professional education, a B.S. in teacher education leading to a teaching license, M.S. education specialists, and doctoral degrees. Section 5.2.8 Luddy School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering in 1999, the Indiana University School of Informatics was established as an environment for research professors and students to develop new uses for information technology to solve specific problems in areas as diverse as biology, fine arts, and economics. This was the first school of informatics established in the United States. Informatics is also interested in, quote, how people transform technology and how technology transforms us, unquote. In 2005, the Department for Computer Science moved from the College of Arts and Sciences to the School of Informatics, prompting the school to expand its name to the School of Informatics and Computing. This move merged several faculty, bringing the total core faculty to over 100. In 2015, Indiana University submitted a proposal to the Indiana Commission for Higher Education for the establishment of an engineering program. Purdue University attempted to block the proposal, but the commission shot them down, passing the proposal unanimously. 
Following approval, in 2016, the new Department of Intelligent Systems Engineering was established as part of the School of Informatics and Computing, and its name was again changed, this time to the School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering, commonly referred to as SICE. Shortly after, IU approved the construction of a $39.8 million new facility to house the re-Christian school named Luddy Hall after alumnus Fred Luddy. Luddy Hall opened its doors in January 2018. Informatics also had strong ties with the Media School, Jacob School of Music, and the Cognitive Science Program. The school is one of the handful that offers a degree in human-computer interaction. The school offers master's degrees in human-computer interaction design, music informatics, bioinformatics, chemical informatics, security informatics, intelligence systems engineering, computer science, and PhDs in computer science, informatics, and intelligence systems engineering. Specialization areas for the PhD in computer science include artificial intelligence, databases, distributed systems, formal methods, high com performance computing, programming languages, and security. The informatics PhD program offers tracks in bioinformatics, cheminformatics, complex systems, human computer interaction design, logic and mathematical foundations of informatics, music informatics, security informatics, and social informatics. The school has four departments informatics, computer science, information and library science. The IU Department of Information and Library Science was ranked by U.S. and News World Report in 2016 as the eighth best program in the nation. It also has been ranked number one in scholarly productivity by a 2006 study published in the journal Library and Information Science Research. ILS is housed on the ground floor of the Wells Library Western Tower. In April 2012, what was formerly known as the School of Library and Information Science and IU School of Informatics and Computing began a discussion on the possible merger between two schools. With the success of negotiations and arrangements, Indiana University Board of Trustees approved the merger on October 22, 2012. Effective from July 1, 2013, IU School of Informatics and School of Library and Information Science will be merged into a single school to be called the IU School of Informatics and Computing. Intelligent Systems Engineering Section 5.2.8 O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs. The O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs, or SPIA, is the largest school of its kind in the United States. Founded in 1972, SPIA is known for its distinctive interdisciplinary approach. It brings together the social, natural, behavioral, and administrative sciences in one faculty. SPIA has a sister core campus at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, or IUPUI, and an affiliate program is operated at Indiana University Gary's campus. In their 2016 rankings, U.S. News & World Report rated SPIA ranked tied for first in the nation, with five of its programs ranked in the top ten, Environmental Policy and Management, Nonprofit Management and Leadership, Public Financing and Budgeting, Public Management and Administration, and Public Policy Analysis. Similar rankings do not yet exist for graduate schools of environmental science or undergraduate schools in either the public affairs or environmental science. SPIA is the headquarters of the Public Administration Review, a premier journal of public administration research theory and practice. SPIA is also home to the Journal of Policy Analysis and Management, the Journal of Public Budgeting and Finance, and Small Business Economics. SPIA has more than a dozen joint programs in social and natural sciences and professional fields. Popular majors include nonprofit management and leadership, public policy, public finance, and art administration. SPIA alumni include radio and television host Tavis Smiley and former U.S. Treasury Secretary Paul O'Neill. Among SPIA's faculty was Eleanor Ostrom, the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Economics. She was named by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the United States. Section 5.2.9 School of Public Health, Bloomington. Established in 2012, the school and programs have shown to encompass a broad spectrum of academic interests and personal fields. The school was founded in 1946 as a school of health, physical education, and recreation. It transitioned into the Public School of Health, Bloomington, and was renamed in September 2012. It was accredited by the Council on Education and Public Health in June 2015. The school has nearly 3,000 students and 24,000 living alumni, with undergraduate and advanced degree programs offered through five academic departments. Applied Health Science, Environmental Health, Epidemiology and Biostatistics, Kinesiology, and Recreation, Park, and Tourism Studies. The Division of Campus Recreational Sports within IU 
School of Public Health Bloomington provides sports and fitness opportunities for the IU community and public. The school has numerous centers, institutes, and specialized laboratories, including the Center for Sexual Health Promotion, the Indiana Prevention Research Center, the National Center on Accessibility, the Rural Center for AIDS STD Prevention, among others. And the school's resources include more than 12,000 square feet or 1,100 meters squared of research and teaching laboratories and nearly 275,000 square feet or 25,500 meters squared of indoor and outdoor sport and fitness facilities, including recreation centers, aquatic centers, and acreage that includes Branford Woods. 5.2.10 School of Social Work the Indiana University School of Social Work was founded in 1911 as the Department of Social Service, thus making it the oldest professional social work education program begun and is still functioning as part of a university. In July 2007, the Indiana University Division of Labor Studies merged with the School of Social Work. The Department of Labor Studies. The Department of Labor Studies, a unit housed within the School of Social Work, was founded in 1940 during the tenure of Herman B. Wells in response to the growing role of organized labor in American society. Today, the division is one of only several degree-granting programs in the nation for the area of labor studies or industrial relations. Notable faculty in recent years include Leonard Page, General Counsel for National Labor Relations Board during the Clinton administration, and labor economist slash author Michael Yates. 5.2.11 5.2.11 School of Medicine The main article can be found at the Indiana University School of Medicine. Section 5.2.12 School of Nursing The Indiana University Training School for Nurses was established in Indianapolis in 1914 in conjunction with the establishment of Robert W. Long Hospital and the association with the School of Medicine to offer training leading to a nursing diploma is renamed the IU School of Nursing in 1956. In the 1930s, a division of nursing education under the IU School of Education was created on the Bloomington campus to offer additional training to nursing students seeking a Bachelor's of Science. A Master's of Science degree program was added in 1945. Today, the School of Nursing is located at several of IU campuses, with Indianapolis and Bloomington being the main locations. As of 2017, its degree programs include the four-year Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, a Master of Science in Nursing degree, and two doctoral degrees, a Doctor of Nursing Practice and Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing. The National League for Nursing has recognized the school as a center of excellence in two categories, simultaneously for creating environments that promote the pedagogical expertise of faculty and creating environments, and the advance of science of nursing education. The IU School of Nursing ranks 8th among public universities to receive funding from the National Institutes of Health. Almost 40% of the baccalaureate prepared professional nurses in Indiana graduate from the IU School of Nursing each year. In 2017, the U.S. News & World Report ranked the IU School of Nursing 28th for its master's degree program and 23rd for its doctors of nursing practice degree among U.S. colleges and universities. Its online graduate program ranked 39th. Section 5.2.13 School of Optometry The Indiana University School of Optometry was founded in 1951. The school became a degree-granting institution of its own in 1975. Located at the southwest border of campus, the Doctor of Optometry program permits an average of 70 to 80 students per year. The school operates a 22,000 square foot or 2,000 meter squared community eye care clinic in Bloomington and a clinic in Indianapolis. In addition to providing optometric education, the facility also houses the Border Center for Orthopedic Research, officially dedicated in October 1995. The Bohr Center provides opportunities for undergraduate, professional, and graduate students to participate in directly in vision research. Section 5.2.14 University Graduate School Indiana University's Graduate School offers 190 degrees in certification programs. IU boasts that, on average, their PhD students take less time to complete their studies compared to peers in similar institutions. For example, students who seek a PhD in social sciences take, on average, almost a year less to complete their degree than students from peer universities. In 2007 and 2008, the Graduate and Professional Student Organization partnered with the Graduate graduate School to create the Emissaries for Graduate Student Diversity. Emissaries work either towards outreach and enrollment or retention and community building. 
outreach and enrollment emissaries inform prospective students about opportunities at IU. They also help navigate the admissions process. The retention and community building emissaries act as mentors for certain students. The Graduate School has a separate student government, Graduate and Professional Student Government, or GPSG. They collaborate with faculty to help improve the quality of services offered to graduate students attending Indiana University. Section 6, Athletics. IU's intercollegiate athletics program has a long tradition in several key sports. From its beginnings with basketball in 1867, the Hoosier athletic program has grown to include over 60 male and female student athletes on 24 varsity teams, boasting one of the nation's best overall records. Sports sponsored by the university include football, men's basketball, women's basketball, cross country and track, softball, baseball, golf, tennis, rowing, volleyball, swimming, diving, and wrestling. The Hoosiers became a member of the Big Ten Conference on December 1, 1899. The school's national affiliation is with the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or the NCAA. National team titles, now totaling 26, 25 NCAA, and 1 AIAW, have been won in nine men's sports and one women's sport, topped by a record-setting six straight men's swimming and diving titles wins, eight men's soccer crowns, and five titles in men's basketball. Indiana University's men's basketball team is one of the most decorated programs in the nation, having won five national championships. Indiana University student-athletes have won 133 NCAA individual titles, including 79 in men's swimming and diving and 31 in men's track and field. Also, IU teams have won or shared 157 Big Ten Conference championships. The IU Athletics Endowment is $42 million, the largest in the Big Ten. The Varsity Club, which is the fundraising arm of the Athletics Department, drew a record $11.5 million in gifts and pledges in the fiscal year of 2004 to 2005. Also, overall annual giving has increased by 8.3% in the last year and 44.8% in the last three years. In addition to its rich tradition in inter-varsity sports, IU also boasts a strong reputation in many non-varsity sports. Many of these club teams, especially those in ice hockey or rugby union, have achieved a great deal of success in intercollegiate competition. Hurling also has become more popular, with Indiana University's hurling club becoming the first American national champions in history. The constant success of these athletic clubs has several times led to the university to establish varsity programs in sports in which there had been previously not a team for the NCAA inter-varsity competition. A large percentage of IU student body regularly participates in both formal and or informal intramural sports, including football, soccer, tennis, basketball, and golf. Among intramural athletics, IU's reputation for student participation and in instruction in martial arts is particularly strong. Section 7, Media Media outlets of Indiana University include WFIU Radio, a charter member of the National Public Radio Network. FWIU is a public radio station operating out of the Radio and TV Center in Bloomington, Indiana campus. Licensed to the trustees of Indiana University, it is funded by several sources, Indiana University, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, program underwriting grants for community businesses and organizations, and voluntary contributions from listeners. Programming centers on classical music, national and international news. Other formats include folk music, jazz, comedy, and news and public affairs programming. WTIU Television, a 24-hour public television licensed to Indiana University, operating out of the radio and TV center on the Bloomington, Indiana campus. WTIU is a PBS affiliate and carries nationally and locally produced programming, serving over 20 counties in west and south central Indiana, including the cities of Bloomington, Bedford, Columbus, and Terre Haute, and the communities of Martinsville, Linton, Bloomfield, Nashville, Spencer, and Seymour. Approximately 175,000 TV households are included in the viewing area, cable and off-air combined. IUSTV Indiana University Student Television Station, an entirely student-run television station broadcasting to over 12,000 on-campus residents and over 40,000 Bloomington residents via public access television. Founded in 2002, IUSTV has quickly grown to be a leading media entity on student organizations on campus. The Indiana Daily Student, a free daily newspaper fully supported financially through ad sales, Founded in 1867, it has a circulation of over 15,000 and is produced by IU students. 
WIUX, an entirely student-run radio station that broadcasts currently on FM 99.1 and via live internet streaming on its website. It broadcasts 24 hours a day, 7 days a week during the fall and spring semesters. Besides playing independent music, the station provides coverage of nine different Indiana University sports teams. The station was established in 1963 under the call letters WQAD. It was granted a low-power FM license in the spring of 2005 and transitioned to FM by early 2006. IU Home Pages Faculty and Staff News In print, the audience includes approximately 17,000 employees on eight campuses. Section 8 Faculty With over 1,823 full-time faculty members, Indiana University leads the Big Ten public universities in a number of endowed faculty positions with 333 chairs, professorships, and curators. IUB also reported in the fall of 2004 that it employed 334 part-time faculty, totaling 1,877 full-time equivalents. Of the full-time faculty, 76% were tenured. Unlike the student body, IUB's faculty is predominantly white. Of full-time administrators, faculty, and lecturers, 118, or 6%, were Asian, 74, or 4% or African American, 62 or 4% were Hispanic, 5 or 0.3% were Native American, and 1,535 or 85% were other. More men, 62%, than women held academic appointments at the university. Professors at IUB were better paid than their counterparts in the IU system. A full professor earned an average of 126,500, and an associate professor earned 89,000, and an assistant professor earned 74,400. Section 8.1 Enrollment Statistics Top 5 Indiana Counties by IU Enrollment County Monroe, Bloomington, with 4,352, Hamilton, Camels, Fisher, and Noblesville, 3,853. Marion, Indianapolis, 3,686, Lake, Gary, 1,389, and Allen, or Fort Wayne, is 1,196. Section 9. Indiana University's notable former faculty include mathematician Max August Zorn, sexologist Alfred Kinsley, and poet Yusuf Komenyaka. Notable current faculty include cognitive scientist Douglas Halsifer, violinist Joshua Bell, and pianist Andre Watts. Some of Indiana University's notable alumni are Meg Cabot, Larvine Cox, and Mark Cuban. Section 10. Sustainability. IU Bloomington's Von Lee Theater Building is LEED certified. The More Art, Less Trash Recycling Initiative included a design contest for recycling bin artwork and promotes both recycling and outdoor art. The university employs a group of student sustainability interns each summer, and the students get involved in campus and community-based sustainability initiatives through the Volunteers in Sustainability Coordination Group, or the Student Sustainability Council. Section 11. Transportation. The campus bus system operates several routes on the regular schedule around IUB campus through the semesters. In December 2014, a shuttle service, called Campus Connection, has been introduced between IUB and IUPUI campuses as well. The campus buses are free to all IU affiliates and are handicap accessible. IU students and employees also gain free access to Bloomington Transit buses around the city. Section 12. References The following section contains references that are available in written form of this article. Please be sure to verify any information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 13. Further reading. 1. Capshu James H. Herman B. Wells, The Promise of the American University, Indiana University Press, 2012, 460 pp, expert and text search. 2. Clark Thomas D. Indiana University, Midwest Pioneer, Volume 1, The Early Years, 1970. 3. Clark Thomas D. Indiana University, Midwestern Pioneer, Volume 2, In Mid-Passage, 1973. Clark Thomas D. Indiana University, Midwestern Pioneer, Volume 3, Years of Fulfillment, 1977, covers 1938 to 68. 5. Gross Lewis Kenneth, Herman B. Wells and the Legacy of Leadership at Indiana University, Indiana Magazine of History, 2007, 103 hash 3, pages 290 to 301. Section 
13.1. Primary Sources 1. Wells, Herman B. Being Lucky, Reminiscences and Reflections, 1980. Section 14. External Links 1. Official Website 2. Indiana University Athletics Website 3. Indiana University of Collars New Encyclopedia, 1921 This is the end of the spoken article, Indiana University Bloomington, read to you by Whatgum. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org.